Good afternoon, Coach. Welcome to HSBM Media Days. Good to see you. Good to see you always. Thank you for having us. My name is Chris Brigman. I'm the head coach at Florida Christian. Uh, to my right, senior Justin Brigman. Uh, behind him, senior Killian Izagiri. To my left, senior Frank Avila and Maurice Marquez Jr. Good to see you guys. So, Coach, over 20 years at Florida Christian, that's quite a, quite a, a great uh, amount of experience you have there. Every year brings something different for you. What is unique about this season? Oh, uh, this, this season is a complete reboot. Um, you know, new faces. Uh, just, you know, we're, we're excited about the 24 campaign. Um, we're young, uh, but our guys are hungry, and we're looking forward to uh, – to getting off to a good start this week in Georgia. And how is the development coming along? Have you guys got a lot of uh, players battling for positions? Where's your depth? Where's... Yeah, I mean, our our de our depth really um, is in the outfield. Um, our you know our our pitching obviously you know when you when you have when you graduate so many like we did a year ago, right? It's going to take some time. Um, but what's important is knowing who you are. Um, knowing what you can do, knowing what you can't do. Uh, and I think we did a great job, our coaching staff did a great job in the fall identifying those things um, and getting us ready to start the season. Excellent. And your team has got several quality transfers, although new to this team, how valuable is their varsity experience to add to the roster with so many new varsity players? Uh, it's, been, it's been great. You know, guys like Justin and Killian who've been part of our program for a while. And then, you know, when you add when you add guys like Frank and, and Maurice, um, you know, they bring their own the, their own talent level, their own experience, um, and they've done a great job for us, and we'll and we'll continue to do so. Yeah, Coach Brigman, uh, with Patriots this year taking into account what you just said, strengths and weaknesses. What is your coaching philosophy going to be strategically on the field this season? You know, are you running team? Are you pitching team? Uh, defense. I mean, what what do you focus in on? On mostly uh, regarding the strength of the 24 Patriots? Um, defense, for sure. Um, I mean, we, you know, in the preseason, just last week, you know, we, you know, we were able to put up some runs in game two, but um, we feel like really our, our strength lies on the defensive side of the ball. And for Justin, Killian, Frank, or Maurice, you know, you guys are nine time district champions. The Patriots are last in 2019. Uh, you come back from Georgia and host your Adidas tournament uh, on March 1st, uh, there's going to be fans in the stands, classmates, younger players that look up to you guys. You guys are role models, you're student athletes, and as Coach Brigham can tell you, it's a long grind, it's a grueling season, and it's a major commitment. Tell us a little bit about what it's like being a Patriot baseball player, the pride you have, I'm sure. You talk about Patriot pride all the time. What's it like, you know, that pride being a Patriot? Uh, you spend a lot of time with your teammates. Uh, you spend more time with your teammates than you do with your own family. You know, we're putting in work six days a week. Um, but to look ahead to our season opener at, uh, against Lowndes at home, it's exciting because they're the number 16 team, uh, ranked team in the country, according to Perfect Game. So we're excited for that. You know, we get to see some top quality competition, and we know it's going to draw a crowd because people don't usually get to see that type of talent. Um, on a normal basis down here in Miami. So it'll be exciting to see how many people come out and enjoy some quality high school baseball. As Justin said, to, to be the best, you gotta play the best. You guys are looking forward to playing these high ranked teams. I'm sure that's how you get yourself, you know, on the board, prepare yourself for, for district competition when you get home. And from yeah. the players, let me hear from you how, on such a young team, how you guys are motivating yourself as well as your teammates. I think, uh, a good example of the young guys getting involved was the preseason, where I was able to, you know, like, lead them into what it feels like. They were taking the ropes, trying things out. We had uh, we caught a, a win in our second preseason game, and it felt amazing. We battled all the way through. You know, the guys were in there, dug out everybody up. They got a sense of what it was like. So we're ready for the spring. How about you guys? Um. I believe for the whole team, it's all about the process. All, all of us, all four seniors, we're looking to lead the team to where we need to be. Um, and we're just excited to get the new season started. Uh, we also try like, to teach them what, what they're doing wrong also. Like, if they're doing wrong, like, I should like correct them to like, 
like made them improve every time, every day, and to work hard. And that's how I aspire, like as a senior, to the younger guys. And part of that, you guys have to be the role models here for balancing your schoolwork with the with your field work on there. So, coach, I know that's important. Student athlete, talk a little bit about that, and then I can hear from the players. Yeah, we we got a we have a great support system uh, at Florida Christian. We have. Um, uh, our testing center, we actually have someone now that is responsible for tracking um, our, our athletes' academics. Um, so he's very involved. In fact, he's one of our assistant coaches. Uh, and he does that for all our sports across the board. So uh, to be able to have that tool, uh, that place that they can go, um, you know, when they need to, when they need that extra help or they need to make some stuff up, uh, especially being on the road like we will be this week, um, you know, it's just, it's just a great benefit. Um, not only to our to our baseball program, but to our athletic program uh, in general. Which player wants to talk about how you balance your schoolwork with being on the baseball field? I'll take that one. I think it's very helpful that we have a that area where we can, you know, say you're at a game, late game, come home, you're tired, can't do anything. Next day, you're able to make that up, you know, wherever it may be, an elective. Uh, you're able to stay on track with your classes so you don't fall behind anywhere because if you don't have the grades, you can't make it any, anywhere else. So I think it's very important that we have that, and it's very helpful. Yeah, that's a good so, Coach, why was it important for you to bring your team out here for media days? Uh, I mean, media day, you guys do such a great job, and it's always, you know, it's always a good experience, you know, for these guys to be in this type of setting and, you know, be able to, to, to talk about their, you know, their program and their teammates and their fan support and their school, and it just it brings a source of pride. But um, when you're when, when you're in this room and it's media day, you know that opening day is not too far away. So um, we're all excited. Right. You guys got your pictures taken. You got your profile. Going to be ready for all your stats. Yeah. So that's, that's great. Yeah. So coach, take us out. Sum it up. What can we expect from your ball club this year? Um. Again, young, but it, we're gonna we're gonna be able to put a, a good product on the field. Um, we're excited about the development and the improvement that we've seen since we started the fall season in September. Um, we know there's gonna be growing pains, um, but you know, nothing changes. It's still Patriot baseball. Uh, we're still gonna play the best competition. In our area, we're going to travel. We're going to play good competition on the road. Um, and at the end, just to try to be prepared f to, to be able to play our best baseball in April and May. Excellent. Well, we wish you the best of luck this season. Thanks for coming out, and Thank we'll you. see you soon on the field. Sure. Thanks for having us. Thanks.